Welcome to Phoenix, circa 2008. I believe it's 2008. Uh, for some dirt road today. That's interesting, right? Not really. I've done dirt road like 100,000 times at this point, but <laughs> one day I'll be able to afford the better, the uh, more advanced dirt road cars and tracks. But for now, it's still some rookie dirt road. The uh, Pro 2 lights. At the familiar Phoenix, we get our, I don't know, free four, free tracks, and uh, getting to know them pretty well. So, uh, didn't get uh, as much practice as I would have liked. Oops, hold on, let me fix something here with the audio and all that. There we go. Um, what was I saying? Oh, didn't get as much practice as I may have liked, um, but like I said, been here a few times before, so hopefully I should be okay. I said the same thing about Darlington in my first C-fixed attempt, though, so, and that didn't go very well, <laughs> the first attempt, so, better be careful here, but we'll see what happens. Lost uh, my best lap data when my computer exploded. <laughs> Couple, uh, I think it was, I don't know, a month, month and a half ago. So, um, don't have my best laps to compare to at the moment. Have to create some new best laps. So, that's a bummer. I always like trying to see if I can one up myself, and that uh, helps me be a little faster. So, have to create a new log, backlog of good laps. This one's a good two and a half seconds, better than the little practice laps I did. Um, what we got? 44.7? Alright. Got some really fast guys in here. As you might imagine. Oh yeah, got that turn right. That turn's very uh, important and it's hard to get just right, so glad I got that kind of down. Oof. Oh! That was kind of crazy. Using second gear to get some rotation there. Maybe not the best way to do that, but that's how I chose to do it. And let's see if we can get a better lap. It's going to be close. Nope, don't think so. Well, pretty uh, okay with the lap I got. Not going to be able to beat the fastest guy I saw. He had some crazy lap before. Yeah, the 43s. 43s is going to be difficult for me. Um, I might be able to get that like on one like perfect lap or something like that, but if those guys can hit that consistently enough to just throw one out during qualifying, I don't think I'm going to be able to keep up with them at all. Ooh. But uh, these things are so fun. Uh, I love hopping in these things, you know, it's just kind of a, a lower stress type deal. You know, coming out and, uh, you know, I, I want to do well, obviously. But uh, I'm not, like, risking my, like, oval eye rating and all that stuff that I've kind of worked hard to uh, build up. Um, I care a little too much about, about it. But, you know, because it, it's, it's just discouraging if you're, like, in a race and you know, something happens and you end up losing a hundred I rating and it takes like six good races in a row to get that back. <laughs> so, you know, a little less stress. You come in, do some dirt road. I'm just kind of, uh, I think I'm like D-class in this. You know, just uh, kind of blow off some steam, I guess. Have a bad race in Oval or something. Just come in and uh, slide around on the dirt a little bit. It's good fun. I'll go ahead and practice a uh, joker lap here. It's a shortcut on this uh, circuit. Sometimes they're long cuts. In this case, it's a shortcut. I want to make sure you can get this right, too. Because you are required to take it once. Yeah, but only once during the race. Better make sure you're not losing time when you do it. I wonder if guys take the Joker on their warm-up lap heading to the green. The 
it probably gets you some extra speed. Should probably do that in the future. Because it looked like other guys had taken the Joker during their qualifying lap. I, I wasn't quite sure if that was allowed. But so uh, we seem to be just a little too uh, slow for the number one and two, but we're a good uh, second and change, one second and about uh, some change ahead of the six. But that's just one lap. I uh, got my steering ratio to four. Usually, I think you want to put that down lower. And uh, hopefully, we'll survive the start. These starts are pretty chaotic. I don't quite have the uh, jumps figured out yet, to be honest. I don't know how to get the best jumps, but we'll try. Ooh, that guy might have jumped the start. That was very close. He either got it like mega perfect or jumped the start. Oh, I was looking to the left. Sorry, too, I was looking to my left. Not a good excuse, but that's what happened. I should have been paying more attention. Well, <laughs> that's not making me feel better, but it wasn't too catastrophic, I don't think, at least. Take that Joker now, so, uh,. Go at a speed we like. Okay, <sighs> I'll give him another apology later. Um, hate being the guy that's running into the back of someone. I'd like to be more careful than that. Um, he just uh, was slowing down a little earlier than I thought, which he was probably what I should have anticipated him to be doing since he was kind of looking like he was going to head in too wide. He'll probably catch me because he's much faster, so I'll make it easy on him. Uh, yeah, so. Uh, leader stunned the Joker already. I've done the Joker. Two might overtake me taking the Joker. By taking the Joker, I mean. Doing alright though, I don't think I damaged uh, my car, my truck, or his truck with the contact. Just got that uh, 2x, which stinks, but shouldn't be too big of a deal. So hard to get it to uh, rotate in this corner. Let it by. I messed him up, really. There we go. Alright, hopefully that makes up for it just a bit. Like I said, it didn't spin him out or anything. I don't think it hurt much, but I want to make it clear that uh, I don't want to race that way. Maybe we can learn something too. This guy's fast, so we'll take a close eye. Uh, we'll keep a close eye on what he's doing. Maybe I'll learn something. Smooth is pretty important here. Just like a you know dirt oval or something, it's all about keeping uh, nice and steady on the throttle, not spinning your tires too much, and uh, tearing off all these uh, all these what you call them uh, tear offs. <laughs> Get up 800 billion of them, so you're always going like do 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 do, take them all off. Okay, so there goes the two. We were able to show our uh, remorse by letting him by easy. I'm sure he might have noticed that, unless he just thought I was really slow in that corner. But, uh, well, got to focus on our race now. We've got a light year behind us. So as long as we don't flip it or something, we're probably good. Get that out of my face. Get that dirt out of here. So I'm pretty much uh, going to finish kind of where I was expecting. I think I need to be taking this a little wider. Not that hard, though. Uh, sliding's fun, but it's not really that fast. It's fun to be sliding around on the 
concrete and, uh, and the dirt and everything, but usually it's not the fast way to do it. You usually want to keep it steady. There we go. Got it to rotate a little bit better there. Alright. Um, apologies again for my audio quality still working on getting it better. I'm sure you can still hear my wheel going crazy and wild. Don't quite have all the things I need to make uh, make that sound the best, I don't think. But I'll try to improve it over time. Just like uh, how I can't really afford <laughs> these uh, the better cars in this series. I can't really go throwing money around to get, you know, Crandon or... What's that one Wild West Motorsports Park or something? That one looks fun. I'm gonna try that one eventually, but um, don't really have uh, the money to just grab, go out and get all the best stuff for me right now. That's all right. I can probably look into ways to uh, maybe fixing my audio settings a little bit, maybe to eliminate some of the background noise kind of stuff. Oof, don't cut that. I got close. Mm -mm. But uh, I did say it in the last video, but I kind of got my um, F3 and stuff and some of my other UI elements. Kind of like got them out of the way a little bit. Maybe make the uh, view a little better. Why am I in second gear? Get it out of the way a bit. Like this dirt. Get this dirt out of my face. <laughs> so you can see the twos moseyed away just fine. Number one's in another zip code. And uh, we got a nice lead on fifth, so all the space in the world. Only one that's going to mess this up for me is me. Oh, speaking of. Really sideways there. I think I gotta stab the brake a little harder into this corner, maybe to help it turn. This is probably one of my weaker dirt road courses, if I had to guess. Um, I think I'm pretty good at the Charlotte um, Rally course. Um, Daytona. I'm pretty shaky at this one I think uh, sometimes I can put in a good lap but then sometimes I'm just I'm just not consistent so I think if I could be more consistent I'd be better here for me but uh, that's the end of the race so we got third as predicted let me try to get out quick enough so I can apologize again to that guy don't leave I have sorries to give you sorry again for the contact good race <sighs> we in there we got it <laughs> the race for apologizing <laughs> um, so, at least we got to do that. Good race, boys. You finally looked because uh, because of the one. Okay, yeah. I figured uh, should have expected it. Yeah. All right. Cool. So he's a cool with it. That makes me feel better. <laughs> Not your fault at all. Awesome. Uh, that's a weight off of my mind. <laughs> awesome. Love uh, when people are understanding. So, Yeah, third. Started third, finished third, number three. Dale Earnhardt all over the place, apparently. Um, oh, lordy, that's loud. Out my face. That's, just, that's the phrase of the day, I guess. Get this dirt out of my face. 
Uh, here's this crazy start. It's, these starts are always crazy. Who was the guy that maybe jumped the start? Yep, he definitely jumped the start. Number five. He still came back and got fourth. There's a, no way, right? Yeah, he's going, and then everyone else is going. Not seeing the lights actually do anything. It's kind of strange, but he must have uh, had to come in. Or not. That's crazy. He got an amazing start then, if he didn't get caught for that. Nice. All right, incidents. Let's stop wasting time. Can't believe you didn't get caught for uh, jumping the start. Oh, I didn't see that. That happened right in front of us, the number one and two. Oh, yeah, let's take a good look at that. Oof, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad he was uh, nice about it because I definitely. Um... Yeah, I definitely could, went in a little hard. Um, yeah, I think, I think the whole race I needed to back up this corner, even just running alone. So, gave him a tap, gave him a boost into the corner. Ooh, I'm so glad he saved it. Because he did get a little sideways, because I sent him in harder than maybe he wanted. So, then I'm in second gear blocking everyone. Oof, rough start. But uh, we got it back together, thankfully helped to uh, take the Joker right away and get some room. That's a common problem having a lot of races. I get uh, flustered and uh, panic a little bit when I got people all around me. Ooh, that's a hard hit. Times two. Uh, I get flustered when there's people around me and I make mistakes I normally wouldn't. Um, when I was kind of learning or uh, starting to focus on road racing last season, I was doing that a lot early on. Uh, when I was racing side by side with someone, I would spin myself out a lot. I, d I still do it sometimes, of course, but not as much. I would spin myself out because I would enter a corner differently or giving too much space to them because I didn't want to hit them, and then it would make me enter the corner way too shallow, and then I was in a spot where I couldn't take the turn properly. So I've kind of had, had to work on uh, my positioning and um, leaving room, but not so much room where I can't take the corner how I need to. Especially in stuff like the Formula V, if you take a corner too shallow and early in the race, you're almost definitely going to spin out because you have to turn the wheel so hard and the tires are cold. Um, we're seeing a lot of nothing. Guy's getting close to the wall maybe by not actually hitting it. I think we just saw this. Ooh. Bumper tap there. Kind of looked like what I did to the number two earlier. And there's, a, there's guys having trouble getting around that corner. I'm telling you, it's hard to get it turned there. It's, uh, two, is that the number one? No, it's me. Oh, that's right. This is before he took the Joker and got past me. Okay. I was like, when was I in front of him? I was like, oh, yeah. yeah still uh, seeing nothing. Incidents being testy. I'll go ahead and uh, skip unless it looks like there might be uh, uh, any actual contact coming. Maybe. No. Nope. So maybe the seven would go into this corner too hard or something. They're doing fine. if we're going to see anything. I think everyone's pretty spread out at this point. we got the 5 and 7 kind of near each other, though. Oh! 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 There is actual contact. Almost a flip. Wow. Oh, and he gives it back. That's very kind of him. It's uh, essentially uh, what I did. Just I uh, got him square from behind. But uh, made sure to give it back. You know, make it easier for him to pass at another point. So, it's uh, these are uh, these trucks. They can be hard to control, so you can get into each other a lot. But that's kind of just the nature of this racing. But it doesn't mean you have to just do it on purpose and use it as an excuse. You know, it's still good to uh, 
Try to be courteous, try to give room. Just like any other racing. Yeah, you really want to like keep it rolling through that corner. Um, it's tough to do. But if you can keep the like a consistent pace and take the angle right there, that's how you get a lot of speed there, and that's what I'm trying to get better at. I'd be able to keep uh, up with the one and two better if I was able to do that. Number five, uh, more careful there, looks like, to not hit the seven. Not seeing much here. How come uh, I don't get to see me driving while not hitting the wall? We got lots, a lot of other guys getting false flags. I don't get to see me driving around. I recently went in to, because uh, I realized I hadn't done this. But like uh, iRacing's connection type or whatever in the account settings, I realized I'd never changed that from whenever I like signed up when I was in high school in 2013. And uh, back then I didn't have good internet. I don't think I ever changed it to like improve it. So I wonder if uh, my connection's gonna be more, you know, accurate, up to date or something. That's time the five past him, but it was an easy crossover for the 7. That's kind of an example, like, uh, sliding is fun, going into the corners, like, hard is fun. You know, you get the 5 coming in there, making the tire marks, but, uh, the real fast way to do it is, like, how the 7 did it. Take that wide entry, not really sliding all that much, but rather kind of just, uh, rolling through there. Still slid a little bit, I think he turned hard to make sure he wasn't, uh, in the 5's path, but... Kind of a good illustration of the two different ways people take that corner. You know, come in there hard or kind of like a consistent pace through. And then you get uh, more momentum heading forward. That's, a interest that's an interesting illustration of that. Oops. <laughs> Sorry. Seizure warning. Held down the space bar by accident for a second. Five. Taking the joker. Looks like he takes it clean. Four is having issues over there. Nothing too major. We got a, a meeting outside of the Joker. Five overtakes. Just coming to the line. Lap seven. No, nope. still got some time. More of nothing. Will we see anything else before this is over? Lap 9. These guys are still pretty close to each other. Look at that. Got a nice little group here. All those guys kind of a similar pace, I guess. But they had a fun race. Uh-oh. Almost off the side of the jump. This is a... Uh, Interesting racing. Everyone seems to be being, you know, being good and not just like plowing people over on purpose. Sometimes you get that, so I bet this was uh, some good fun back here. And last lap, guys crossing the line. It's showing it for some reason for everyone. And uh, I think that's over then. Yep, that's the end of the race. So that means no more incidents. Six just continued on, I guess, maybe practicing. But, uh, yeah, got triple threes, three threes, starting third, finishing third, number three, threes wild, all right, but that's it for this time, um, another good uh, dirt road race in the books, I think, all right, see you next time.